بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, now in this section, we'll try to understand the different uh, wireless architectures used for implementing your wireless networks. So, so basically, we'll try to understand the implementation of the wireless network with access points. What are the different modes we can apply? Like there is something called autonomous access point mode, lightweight access point mode, uh, and also we'll try to understand about the WLC deployment models, like how we are going to place the WLC or where exactly you are going to place the WLC here. So starting with the basic, like we'll try to understand the basic difference between the autonomous access point mode, autonomous mode in simple I say, autonomous mode or lightweight mode. Now the, now the major difference is here, there is no wireless LAN controllers. So we are not going to use any of the wireless LAN controllers here in the autonomous mode which means we do have an access point. So we know access point is going to provide you the connectivity for the wireless users. So it will generate some kind of wireless signals and all your devices within that coverage area can, can connect to that centralized access point via wireless. And also it is going to bridge the traffic to your wide network. So which means you can still, uh, access point is again acting as a uh, medium to allow the users of wireless to talk to the wide network as well. So that, that's the main job of the access point. So we still use an access point in the other mode. So if you are going with the second one, this is the second one, lightweight access point mode or lightweight mode. Now here we do have an access point doing the same job. So again, these access points provide the connectivity to the wireless users and also provide the connectivity to the wide network. But again, we'll be using a centralized device called wireless LAN controllers. And with the help of these wireless LAN controllers, what we are doing is we are going to do uh, like majority of the management uh, functions we'll be doing from here. So we are just separating the functionality into two parts, like whatever the real time forwarding, the real time forwarding includes like uh, whatever there, there are multiple functions like real-time forwarding includes like sending and receiving the frames or uh, Again applying some encryption or identifying the devices based on the Mac addresses So there's something access point will do But there are some management related functions like applying some security policies or uh, Authentication process or even selecting the radio frequency signals or channels or even applying some quality of service. So there are few things which you can move to the centralized device. And that is what your wireless LAN controllers will do. So most of the management related tasks are shifted to the WLC. And that's the reason we call this as lightweight access point because they are not doing the complete job because the majority of the management related tasks are shifted to the WLC. And with the help of WLC, we are going to manage all these access points. But whereas when you come back to this autonomous access point mode, now here there is no WLC, which means individual access point will, will do all the jobs. So every access point will do the actual forwarding job. At the same time, management related jobs are present on each and every access point. So most of the time, we'll be going with the second option that is lightweight access point mode because technically you may have hundreds of access points in your production network. If you take any kind of typical enterprise networks, you may have hundreds to thousands of access points. It's not an easy job to manage it individually. So we'll be getting more deeper into this lightweight access point mode later on, but this is the basic difference we need to understand between these two uh, modes of implementations on, in, in your wireless networks, okay? So again, as I said, when you're going with the uh, shopping malls, airports, it's not possible to manage without controllers. So this is really not scalable, applicable when you have one or two access points or few access points, this is fine. But so technically when you have, when, when you need to maintain hundreds, thousands of access points, you always prefer to go with a lightweight access point mode, uh, which is something we'll be using uh, more common in the production environments.